Although it is toxic in large doses, selenium is an essential micronutrient for animals. In plants, it sometimes occurs in toxic amounts as forage, e.g. locoweed. Selenium is a component of the amino acids selenocysteine and selenomethionine. In humans, selenium is a trace element nutrient that functions as cofactor for glutathione peroxidases and certain forms of theoretics and reductase. Selenium-containing proteins are produced from inorganic selenium via the intermediacy of selenophosphate phosphorus triselenite minus. Say containing biomolecules. Selenium is an essential micronutrient in mammals, but is also recognized as toxic in excess. Selenium exerts its biological functions through seleniproteins, which contain the amino acid selenocysteine. 25 seleniproteins are encoded in the human genome. Glutathione peroxidase The glutathione peroxidase family of enzymes abbreviated GSHPX catalyze reduction of hydrogen peroxide and organic hydroperoxides 2H plus H2O2 GSSG plus 2H2 Auth 2H atoms are donated by thiols in a process that begins with oxidation of a selenyl side chain in GSHPX. The organoselenium compound epsilon is a drug used to supplement the action of GSHPX. It functions as a catalyst for the destruction of hydrogen peroxide, a related selenium containing enzyme in some plants and in animals theoretixin reductase generates reduced theoretixin, a dithiol that serves as an electron source for peroxidases and also the important reducing enzyme ribonucleotide reductase that makes DNA precursors from RNA precursors. Diiodinases Selenium also plays a role in the functioning of the thyroid gland. It participates as a cofactor for the three thyroid hormone diiodinases. These enzymes activate and then deactivate various thyroid hormones and their metabolites. It may inhibit Hashimoto's disease, an autoimmune disease in which the body's own thyroid cells are attacked by the immune system. A reduction of 21% on TPO antibodies was reported with the dietary intake of 0.2 mg of selenium. Formate dehydrogenase Some microorganisms eulatize selenium in formate dehydrogenase. Formate is produced in large amounts in the hepatic liver cells, mitochondria of embryonic cells and in cancer cells by the folate cycle. Formate is reversibly oxidized by the enzyme formate dehydrogenase. HCO2 minus CO2 plus H plus plus 2 E minus. Theoretixin reductase. Theoretixin reductase uses a cysteine selenocysteine pair to reduce the disulfide in theoretixin. The selenocysteine is arranged in an unusual Secchi's GLU catalytic triad, which tunes its pKa. Indicator plants. Certain species of plants are considered indicators of high selenium content of the soil, since they require high levels of selenium to thrive. The main selenium indicator plants are astragalus species including some locoweeds, prince's plume Stanlia sp, woody asters Xyloriza sp, and false goldenweed Unopsis sp. Medical use of synthetic selenium compounds The substance loosely called selenium sulfide with the approximate formula selenium D-sulfide is the active ingredient in some anti-dandruff shampoos. The selenium compound kills the scalp fungus malassezia, which causes shedding of dry skin fragments. The ingredient is also used in body lotions to treat tinea versicolor due to infection by a different species of malassezia fungus. Detection in biological fluids Selenium may be measured in blood, plasma, serum or urine to monitor excessive environmental or occupational exposure, confirm a diagnosis of poisoning in hospitalized victims or to assist in a forensic investigation in a case of fatal overdosage. Some analytical techniques are capable of distinguishing organic from inorganic forms of the element. Both organic and inorganic forms of selenium are largely converted to monosaccharide conjugates in the body prior to being eliminated in the urine. Cancer patients receiving daily oral doses of selenothionine may achieve very high plasma and urine selenium concentrations. 
Toxicity Although selenium is an essential trace element, it is toxic if taken in excess. Exceeding the tolerable upper intake level of 400 micrograms per day can lead to selenosis. This 400 microgram micro -G tolerable upper intake level is based primarily on a 1986 study of five Chinese patients who exhibited overt signs of selenosis and a follow-up study on the same five people in 1992. The 1992 study actually found the maximum safe dietary SE intake to be approximately 800 micrograms per day, 15 micrograms per kilogram body weight, but suggested 400 micrograms per day to not only avoid toxicity, but also to avoid creating an imbalance of nutrients in the diet and to account for data from other countries. In China, people who ingested corn grown in extremely selenium-rich stony coal, carbonaceous shale, have suffered from selenium toxicity. This coal was shown to have selenium content as high as 9.1%, the highest concentration in coal ever recorded in literature. Symptoms of selenosis include a garlic odor on the breath, gastrointestinal disorders, hair loss, sloughing of nails, fatigue, irritability, and neurological damage. Extreme cases of selenosis can result in cirrhosis of the liver, pulmonary edema, and death. Elemental selenium and most metallic selenides have relatively low toxicities because of their low bioavailability. By contrast, selenates and selenites are very toxic, having an oxidant mode of action similar to that of arsenic trioxide. The chronic toxic dose of selenite for humans is about 2,400 to 3,000 micrograms of selenium per day for a long time. Hydrogen selenide is an extremely toxic, corrosive gas. Selenium also occurs in organic compounds, such as dimethyl selenide, selenomethionine, selenocysteine and methylselenocysteine, all of which have high bioavailability and are toxic in large doses. Selenium poisoning of water systems may result whenever new agricultural runoff courses through normally dry, undeveloped lands. This process leaches natural soluble selenium compounds such as selenates into the water, which may then be concentrated in new wetlands as the water evaporates. High selenium levels produced in this fashion have been found to have caused certain congenital disorders in wetland birds. In fish and other wildlife, low levels of selenium cause deficiency while high levels cause toxicity. For example, in salmon, the optimal concentration of selenium in the fish tissue whole body is about 1 microgram selenium per gram of tissue dry weight. At levels much below that concentration, young salmon die from selenium deficiency, much above that level they die from toxic excess. Deficiency Selenium deficiency can occur in patients with severely compromised intestinal function, those undergoing total parenteral nutrition, and in those of advanced age over 90. Also, people dependent on food grown from selenium-deficient soil are at risk. Although New Zealand has low levels of selenium in its soil, adverse health effects have not been detected. Selenium deficiency is defined by low. Selenium interacts other nutrients, such as iodide and vitamin E. The interaction is observed in the etiology of many deficiency diseases in animals and pure selenium deficiency is rare. The effect of selenium deficiency on health remains uncertain, particularly in relation to Cashenbeck disease. Dietary recommendations The U.S. Institute of Medicine updated estimated average requirements and recommended dietary allowances for selenium in 2000. If there is not sufficient information to establish EARS and RDAs, an estimate designated adequate intake AI is used instead. The current EAR for selenium for people ages 14 and up is 45 micrograms per day. The RDA is 55 micrograms per day. RDAs are higher than EARS so as to identify amounts that will cover people with higher than average requirements. RDA for pregnancy is 60 micrograms per day. RDA for lactation is 70 micrograms per day. For children ages 1 to 13 years the RDA increases with age from 20 to 40 micrograms per day. As for safety, the IOM sets tolerable upper intake levels ULs for vitamins and minerals when evidence is sufficient. In the case of selenium the UL is 400 micrograms per day. Collectively the EARS, RDAs, AIs and ULs are referred to as Dietary Reference Intakes DRIs. .The European Food Safety Authority EFSA refers to the collective set of information as Dietary Reference Values, with Population Reference Intake PRI instead of RDA, and Average Requirement instead of EAR. 
AI and UL defined the same as in United States. For women and men ages 15 and older the AI is set at 70 micrograms per day. AI for pregnancy is 70 micrograms per day, for lactation 85 micrograms per day. For children ages 1 to 14 years the AIs increase with age from 15 to 55 micrograms per day. These AIs are higher than the US RDAs. The European Food Safety Authority reviewed the same safety question and set its UL at 300 micrograms per day, which is lower than the U.S. value. For U.S. food and dietary supplement labeling purposes the amount in a serving is expressed as a percent of daily value percent DV. For selenium labeling purposes 100% of the daily value was 70 micrograms, but as of May 27, 2016 it was revised to 55 micrograms. A table of the old and new adult daily values is provided at reference daily intake. Food and supplement companies have until January 1, 2020 to comply with the change. In the United States, selenium deficiency is not common. A federal survey of food consumption determined that for women and men over the age of 19, average consumption from foods and beverages was 89 and 125 micrograms per day, respectively. For women and men of all ages fewer than 3% consumed less than the ear. Food sources Dietary selenium comes from nuts, cereals, meat, mushrooms, fish, and eggs. Brazil nuts are the richest ordinary dietary source and could cause selenium toxicity if consumed regularly, though the actual concentration of selenium as with any plant-based food sources, such as another selenium accumulating. Paradise nut. Lecithis, belonging to the same family Lecithidaceae, is soil dependent and may vary significantly by geographic location. In descending order of concentration, high levels are also found in kidney, tuna, crab, and lobster. The human body's content of selenium is believed to be in the 13 to 20 mg range. Human health. Cancer. Although an inverse association between selenium exposure and the risk of some types of cancer was found in some observational studies, this cannot be taken as evidence of a causal relation, and these results should be interpreted with caution. Conflicting results including inverse, null and direct associations have been reported for some cancer types. RCTs assessing the effects of selenium supplementation on cancer risk have yielded inconsistent results. To date, no convincing evidence suggests that selenium supplements can prevent cancer in humans. HIV, AIDS AIDS appears to involve a slow and progressive decline in levels of selenium in the body. Whether this decline in selenium levels is a direct result of the replication of HIV or related more generally to the overall malabsorption of nutrients by AIDS patients remains debated. Observational studies have found an association between decreased selenium levels and poorer outcomes in patients with HIV, though these studies were mostly done prior to the currently effective treatments with highly active antiretroviral therapy Currently there is inadequate evidence to recommend routine selenium supplementation for HIV patients, and further research is recommended. Mortality Selenium supplementation has no effect on overall mortality. Tuberculosis As with other types of supplementation, there is no good evidence selenium supplementation helps in the treatment of tuberculosis. Diabetes A meta-analysis of four RCTs concluded that there is no support for selenium supplementation for prevention of type 2 diabetes mellitus in Caucasians. Human reproductive system Abnormally high or low levels of dietary selenium can have an adverse effect on sperm quality, with a consequent lowering of fertility. Evolution in biology and biosynthetic considerations Selenium is incorporated into several prokaryotic selenoprotein families in bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes as selenocysteine, where selenoprotein peroxyridoxins protect bacterial and eukaryotic cells against oxidative damage. 
Selenoprotein families of GSHPX and the diiodinases of eukaryotic cells seem to have a bacterial phylogenetic origin. The selenocysteine containing form occurs in species as diverse as green algae, diatoms, sea urchin, fish, and chicken. Selenium enzymes are involved in utilization of the small reducing molecules glutathione and theoretixin. Trace elements involved in GSHPX and superoxide dismutase enzymes activities, i.e. selenium, vanadium, magnesium, copper, and zinc, may have been lacking in some terrestrial mineral deficient areas. Marine organisms retained and sometimes expanded their selenoproteomes, whereas the selenoproteomes of some terrestrial organisms were reduced or completely lost. These findings suggest that aquatic life supports selenium utilization, whereas terrestrial habitats lead to reduced use of this trace element. Marine fishes and vertebrate thyroid glands have the highest concentration of selenium and iodine. From about 500 MYA, freshwater and terrestrial plants slowly optimized the production of new Endogenous antioxidants such as ascorbic acid, vitamin C, polyphenols including flavonoids, tocopherols, etc. A few of these appeared more recently, in the last 50 to 200 million years, in fruits and flowers of angiosperm plants. In fact, the angiosperms the dominant type of plant today and most of their antioxidant pigments evolved during the late Jurassic period. About 200 MYA, new selenoproteins were developed as mammalian GSHPX enzymes. See also ACES nutritional supplement References External links WebElements.com, Selenium National Institutes of Health page on Selenium Assay ATSDR, Toxicological Profile, Selenium Peter van der Krogt Elements site